Hello guys! Welcome to another review session here in Elam School. At ngayon naman ay tuturuan ko kayo kung paano sagutan ang mga number series questions. So madalas lumabas ang mga number series questions sa mga college entrance exams like yung UPCAT, ESET, at iba pa ang competitive exams like the civil service exam. Alright, so sa number series questions makikita kung marunong ba kayo magbilang. So yan una-una. Pangalawa, marunong ba kayo maghanap ng mga patterns? Ito ay mga basic skills. Ibig sabihin, dapat meron na kayo nito bago kayo mag-college or bago kayo magtrabaho para sa government natin. So, kung feeling nyo mag-exam na at hindi pa kayo handa, don't worry because I'm here to help you. Okay? Just watch the video for the tricks and techniques for number series questions. And if you want more exercises, just subscribe to my channel. Comment below your email address so I can send you worksheets for you to further practice on. So, paano nga ba sagutan ang mga number series questions? Isang effective technique dito ay ang 3C technique. So basically, sa 3C technique, you look for the simplest logical patterns sa inyong number series. And how do you find the pattern? First, isya-check natin kung meron bang common difference between the next term and the previous term sa inyong number series. Kung walang common difference, we check kung meron ba silang common ratio. Mamaya makikita natin kung ano bang ibig sabihin ng common difference at common ratio. At kung wala pa rin common difference at common ratio, we check for other patterns. Okay? At para maintindihan at ma-apply natin ang 3C technique, let's look at question number 1. What is next in the series negative 6, 0, 6, and 12? So, i-apply natin ang 3C technique. So, first, tingnan muna natin kung may common difference ba yung mga terms natin sa number series. I-subtract natin 0 minus negative 6, we get 6. 6 minus 0 is equal to 6. 12 minus 6 is equal to 6. Ibig sabihin, to move from the previous term to the next term, we just add 6. So, to find the fifth term, we just add 6 to 12, which is 18. So, the answer here is 18. Let us go to question number 2. What is next in the series? 256, 64, 16, and 4. So, we apply natin ulit ang 3C technique. Is there a common difference? 64 minus 256 is equal to negative 192. 16 minus 64 is equal to negative 48. 4 minus 16 is equal to negative 12. Walang common difference. iba iba yung difference nila. Now, let's look at if there's a common ratio. 64 divided by 256 is equal to 1 fourth. 16 divided by 64 is equal to 1 fourth. 4 divided by 16 is equal to 1 fourth. So we see that there is a common ratio which is 1 fourth. Ibig sabihin yung next term is equal to 1 fourth of the previous term. This means that to get the fifth term, we just multiply 4 by 1 fourth and that is equal to 1. The answer here is 1. Let us now go to question number 3. What is next in the series 3, 5, 8, and 12? So we apply natin ulit ang 3C technique. So is there a common difference? Let's check. 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. 12 minus 8 is equal to 4. So mapapansin natin na walang common difference. Pero makikita rin natin na nag increase lang yung difference by 1. And if we further subtract the differences, there is actually a common difference of 1. Ibig sabihin, we add 2 to 3 to get 5. We add 3 to 5 to get 8. And we add 4 to 8 to get 12. This means that to find the fifth term, we just add 5 to the fourth term. Thus, 12 plus 5 is equal to 17. The answer here is 17. Let us go to question number 4. What is next in the series 4, 9, 16, and 25? So, we apply natin ulit ang 3C technique. So, we check natin is there a common difference. 9 minus 4 is equal to 5. 16 minus 9 is equal to 7. 25 minus 16 is equal to 9. So, mapapansin natin na walang common difference. Iba-iba sila. So since walang common difference, i-check natin kung mayroon bang common ratio between the terms in our number series. 9 divided by 4 is equal to 2.25. 25 divided by 16 is equal to 1.56. Mapapansin rin natin na walang common ratio. So since walang common difference and walang common ratio, let's look for other patterns. 
And if we look more closely, the numbers are actually perfect squares. 4 is equal to 2 squared, 9 is equal to 3 squared, 16 is equal to 4 squared, and 25 is equal to 5 squared. This means that to find the fifth term, that would be equal to 6 squared. And 6 squared is equal to 36. The answer here is 36. So let's go now to question number 5. What is next in the series? So let's apply again the 3C technique. So meron bang common difference? So walang common difference. Iba-iba yung difference. How about the common ratio? Since walang common difference and walang common ratio, let's check for other patterns. And if we look more closely, 4 is equal to 2 squared and 256 is equal to 4 raised to the 4th power. So ibig sabihin, yung 5th term natin would be equal to 5 raised to the 5th power and that is equal to 3,125. Okay? Let us look at question number 6. What is next in the series 3, 4, 7, 9, 11, and 14? So following the 3C technique, makikita mo na walang common difference as you move from the 1st to the 6th term. Wala ring common ratio. So, since there's no common difference or common ratio, let's look at other patterns. And if you look more closely, the first, third, and the fifth term, there's a common difference of 4. And for the second, the fourth, and the sixth term, there's a common difference of 5. Thus, following the pattern, to get the seventh term, we just add 4 to 11 and we get 15. Okay? For question number 7, we are presented with fractions and whole numbers. The question is, what is next in the series 1 8, 1 half, 2, and 8? Ah, what you can do here is to convert the fractions and whole numbers into fractions such that they all have the same denominators. So 1 half would be equal to 4 over 8, 2 would be equal to 16 over 8, and 8 would be equal to 64 over 8. And from here, we apply the 3C technique. Makikita natin na walang common difference. Pero merong common ratio. And the common ratio is 4. So to get the 5th term, we multiply the 4th term by 4 and we have 32. For question number 8, we are also presented with fractions in our series. 1 over 2, 3 over 7, 5 over 12, and 7 over 17. In this example, wala kayong makikita na common difference or common ratio. So in some instances, ang pwede nyong gawin ay paghiwalayin ang numerators to denominators. So dito, mapapansin nyo na may common difference ang numerators 1, 3, 5, and 7 na 2. At mayroon namang common difference na 5 ang denominators na 2, 7, 12, and 17. So para malaman natin yung 5th term, mag a lang tayo ng 2 sa numerator. So magiging 7 plus 2 is equal to 9. And sa denominator naman, mag a lang tayo ng 5. So for the last item in our review session for today, we have our series 1, 2, 3, 5, 8. 8 and 13. So the question is, what is next in the series? So paano nga ba isosolve yung ganito? So again, mag apply tayo ng 3C technique. Mapapansin nyo na wala siyang common difference. Mapapansin nyo rin na wala siyang common ratio. So kung walang common difference or walang common ratio, titingin tayo ng iba pang patterns. Okay? So dito, mapapansin nyo na yung third term is equal to the sum of the first term and the second term. The fourth term is equal to the sum of the second and the third term. The fifth term is equal to the sum of the third term and the fourth term, and so on. So yung pattern ay yung isang number is equal to the sum of the two numbers bago sa kanya. So para makuha natin yung seventh term, iaad lang natin si 8 and 13. So 8 plus 13 is equal to 21. Note pala na yung ganitong series, yung tawag dito ay Fibonacci Sequence. Alright, so that was the last item for today's session. Let's just review the 3C technique. It's basically to look for the pattern or logic or rule in your number series. Tingnan nyo muna kung merong common difference. Kung wala, tingnan nyo kung may common ratio. Kung wala pa rin common ratio, check other patterns. Note also that if there are two patterns or rules that apply, Choose the simpler one.
Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you all for watching. If you like my videos, do not forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell for updates. Bye for now.